Good morning. Um, so, where were we? Yesterday, uh, we got our form working. Um, what I noticed uh, while uploading the video um, yesterday was that I didn't quite get the end day working correctly. Um, so, that end day here is uh, defaulting on um, supposedly uh, the last day of the month, the next month. Um, and I had it so that basically we did a calculation of stepping forward um, two months um, and then setting uh, a negative one on the day um, using set month. Um, in here but so i had a minus one there um but it turns out that, that actually actually and really does take one from the end of the previous month um you need to either set one or to, if you set one you get the first day of the month if you set zero you step back a month um, and get the last day of the month so that's what i've done and as you can see that's now working, so I didn't realise that uh, I was getting 30th of May instead of uh, 31st. So, at the moment, um, on this add goal, um, we can end all the, the stuff we need, like... Way 168, that will be by 31st of the 5th, 21 reason, stay healthy. Um, but we've got nowhere to put our first measurement and that's really critical when you're setting up for the first time to, to give a starting point um, and I think I need to force that as well. I don't think it's good to like create a goal um, and then say, uh, now you better give me a, a measurement. I think you need to already have in, in place a measurement so that you know where you are and you can, in your mind, you can work out where you want to be. Um, so we need to adjust this form um, so it can take a, a first measurement as well. Um, so that means I can't do what I expected of, well, I think I, I flip-flopped, I got, kind of got lost in the weeds there, and I can't just use a edit goal form. I need to um, put a fragment of the of the goal form in place in an add goal um, page, uh, along with like an add measurement fragment, um, and then save that as as one instance. So. I need to refactor this edit goal uh, component slightly. Um, and I think the important bit here is actually to take all these labels with their inputs and put them in their own little fragment. Um, and then adjust the form. And I think I'll probably even rename this from edit goal to add goal. Um, and then later on, we'll put in a proper edit goal component for when I'm in the edit goal mode. So I lied yesterday about actually doing the data um, management on the back end, because uh, I need to kind of fix this up first and then move on to that. I doubt I have time to do both in my little half an hour. Um, but we'll I'll crack on. So I'm going to take all that. In fact, I'll just do that. Um, and we will create a new component. And we'll call this um, goal input. Uh, 
um, and that is kind of all we need there. Um, I don't think we need to wrap it at the moment. We could actually wrap it with like a div or something just to give it some structure, but we might we might get away without doing that for the moment. But I do need to um, set up the variable. Um, and I think in this case, we'll leave it as raw um, so that we get errors if nothing is passed in. We should always expect a fully formed goal to come in, whether that's from an existing goal or whether it's um, a dummy skeleton goal that we're just going to pass in. <clears throat> so I also need to, uh, so I've got that. So I've got a little action that I also need to import. Um, is that? Yeah, there we go. That's a little, um, little action that I created. Uh, and all it does is focus the, the node. So when we open this form in theory, I'm not sure if I've seen it actually working yet. Um, that input for the verb should go, should get focus. I'll have to check whether that works in a minute. Um, so we've got that. Um, we know I'm going to pull the date input as well. Oops. End date is fine there, even though it's been highlighted wrong. I think that's a spelt uh, plugin issue there. Okay, so that's probably okay for that. Um, and then we need to just import it here. Pass the goal that we're going to have. And in theory, and in theory, that should still be working as is already. So let's just give that a quick test. in a sec because that's not going to pass back but yeah so if I did yeah yeah okay bind it I 
Grab your coffee while you compile. Okay. And it does all to focus, that's good. That's great. Okay, so it's working now. Good. Okay. So I'm going to rename this. Nope. Rename. Uh, to add goal. That's fine. Yeah, uh, no. Nope. I guess it doesn't really matter, but That's done the right. Hey, see, he didn't even do it. Why? Yeah. Didn't actually. Hmm, that's a bit of a thing, isn't it? I guess because it's. Uh... It's not actually that important. You can uh, give it whatever name you like, I guess. Okay, but. Consistency, we'll do that. So the actual add goal root is pulling in the add goal component. Um, it just keeps a little bit of separation in case we want to do any wibbly stuff there. Um, and in the add goal, pull in the goal input. Okay, now we need to just add some. Oh, okay. One thing I also wanted to do was make this a different type. So at the moment, the, the number of input is just a text, which doesn't make sense um, because I could do wibble here, which doesn't make any sense. Wibble, wibble, no. Um, so we want to make this a number type. Now, do we want to do a step? Probably not at the moment, because you can imagine that people want to do all kinds of things in there, as long as it's just a number at the moment. Yeah, I can't, I can't impose a step on the, on the control because floating points and stuff. Maybe at some point we'll we'll find that we can restrict it to like two decimal places and do a little bit of formatting and stuff like that. But hmm, we'll see. There we go. Yeah. So if I, uh, 
doesn't like it. Good. But I could do six, eight, no problem. What happens there? That's okay. But if I do point one, what does it do? Hmm. Well, now do me at the moment. You can always change it. As long as I can actually put. Ah, okay. It's not picking up. Is it broken? It is. What's going on there? Who'd have thunk? Changing the type. So, so that works, but as soon as I try and put in stupid stuff, yeah, it breaks. And does not recover by the looks of things. Hmm. We'll come back to that because uh, we might have to put in some guards there. Not sure what you can do with that. I've never really had to deal with the uh, numeric input, so I don't know its limitations. For the moment, we'll skip that because it's just not important for what I need to do at the moment. And we'll come back to it. I'll leave it at the moment as a, a number. If I hit it enough times, I'll probably deal with it. But uh, let's move on. Okay. Um, so we're going to be using the same. This might actually cause problems. Right, so here we go. We're going to start doing things for the measurement. Um, and what is the name of my measurements? Let's have a look. Um, in my model. Is the value and the date taken? So this is um, this is my ghost stuff from the uh, from the server, um, and I use a model to as part of uh, generating the API server, um, and so I've got a, as you can see. Um, the member, I've got a token system for login and things. Um, and then obviously you've got the goal um, and obviously measurements that go for the goal. So yeah, so we've got a value and a date taken. I think that's all we need to get started. So we'll do that. Value is fine there. 
uh, but we need to give it a different ID and a different name. What here it is. What? Measurement value. Do the same there. Oh, I don't even really need name. I mean, in theory, I don't need to use an ID because I'm wrapping the input with a label. But I do see, um, we do see issues. This is felt uh, compiler. So now we're going to need a different object here. Now we're using add goal here, so we don't need to export this. This is internal. We're not expecting to have any value. We're also going to do let measurement equal and we're just going to do the basics here because we don't need the whole measurement I guess uh, we can do we can definitely take effectively today. So we've got a goal with nothing starting but an end, a default end date, which is the end of the next month, and a measurement which starts with zero is its value. And the date taken is going to be today. Should do that fine. Then we want
Okay. Just need to add that date input again. And then we'll start sort out the buttons in a minute. Let's see what that looks like. It could be a bit of a mess. Don't take them. There we've got the first goal. And does the job. Today's date. Double ten times, and if we change this date, let's say. December 31st, timestamp changes. Okay, first measurement one, and the date taken. Uh, okay. Well, that's not going to make sense. Can't take it tomorrow. Okay. I will have to put some restrictions on this then. At some point. Don't really care at this very moment. I can come back and do that. Just need to get something that actually saves soon. And cancels. Okay, but we've got the basics there. And you can imagine that being, you know, yeah, it's offset and everything still. Even on a small phone, it'll be off. Need to fix that up. not right it looks terrible <laughs> but at least I know where its boundaries are and I can improve its styling it's fine bit by bit let's get the mechanics working first good thing about having components is you can uh, work with them individually sort them out, get your style in, global style and uh, overrides as and when you need them. Okay, so that means we've got some basic data working on the form there.
Right, okay. Now, how much time have you got? Not enough to get started on the next bit. I think. Yeah, I think the next bit I need to kind of do in a, in a single session because I need to start setting up the back end, um, which will generate uh, my API, regenerate the API's um, JavaScript for the front end too. Um, so I think I'll leave that until the next session because I'm coming up on my hard stop. So that's that. Um, so uh, until next time, uh, take care.